We'd like to welcome everybody back to practicallyandroid.com where we go through practical and beneficial ways to use your Android in everyday life. So today is part two of using a home replacement app and what I'm going to show you is how to change an icon. And this is one of the things that I was super excited about when I figured out I could do it. I think I must have spent between, oh, I don't know, a couple of hours easy <laughs> just tinkering around and changing my icons and just getting it, getting my phone just how I wanted it. Um, and it's a two-step process. And before I continue, I, I, gotta, I just want to make a quick note about launchers. Not all home replacement apps or all launcher apps are created equal. Um, not all launchers allow for changing of icons. For example, um, I've talked up Launcher Pro in the past before, um, and that's because they're very functional. They're, it's a very smooth um, home replacement app, but it, they don't allow for the changing of icons, which was for me was kind of a, a deal breaker. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, so that's why I don't use them. Um, but, you know, if changing icons isn't a huge thing, then, you know, Launcher Pro may very well be up your alley. But anyway, let's go ahead and get started. Basically, in, in order to change your apps, uh, or the icon of your apps, you need first to download an icon pack, which you can just get in the Android market. For example, I have ADW Launcher, so I would just go in there and type ADW Themes. Or if, you, if you're running like Go Launcher is another popular one, just type Go Launcher Themes. And there's like free ones and paid ones, and I really never felt the need to buy an icon pack because all the free ones are more than enough. I mean, if, if one of these developers wants to send me an email and tell me why I should spend money on icon packs, um, then I'm all, I'm all for it. So, but, you know, for now, the free ones are more than enough. I don't know why you would want to pay for one. But so let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to go into the Android market. And I was actually already um, searching for one so I just search ADW themes as you can see up here at the very top of the screen um, and there's all kinds of them so you can see I've already installed the honeycomb one pretty fun um, I've also installed an ice cream sandwich one that's sweet and let's see if I if I can find it okay so this guy right here um, codev this dude does some awesome themes for ADW um, in fact I, I would just I only download his because they're so high quality. And usually these themes, they'll have icons. They'll have um, uh, icons, wallpapers, and they'll change some other con parts of, uh, of your phone. Um, but so I've already downloaded some. Basically, just go in and download some. Download some. From that point forward, let's say that there's an, something you want to change. For example, my to-do app, like this right here, this is my to-do app. Let me show you what it normally looks like. Now, I, this, I use Astrid to-do, um, or Astrid tasks, and I want to give mad props to the people at Astrid because they do some really, really good work. Um, I love their app because it's I can do recurring tasks, um, and the developers for Astrid, they're always updating it. If there's a problem, I send, a, I send in a, an email, you know, they usually send out a fix in the next, you know, they, they reply like the very same day typically, and they'll usually fix the problem within a few days or a few weeks, which is awesome. Um, but with that said, the icon is not very appeasing to me. Like, it's kind of silly in my opinion, and I wish they would change it. And so I remember when I first got my Android phone, I felt like I had to conform um, to having these crappy icons that I didn't really like. And then I figured out I could change them. So I'm going to show you an example with this, um, with the Astrid. So I'm going to, basically with ADW Launcher, and for most, um, for most launchers, it's a similar process. You just have to tinker around with your phone. But basically, I'm just going to long hold on it. And one of the options is to edit. So I'm just going to tap edit. And then um, if, if I had my, the settings to show the, the labels, then I could change what it said. I could say like to do's instead of ask for tasks. Um, but I'm, what I'm going to do right now is I, I'm just going to tap on the picture. And then it's going to tell me, OK, well, do you want to select the picture? Do you want to select the picture and crop it? Or do you want an ADW theme icon pack? And of course, icon pack. And these are the four I have installed. 
Um, so I'm going to come in here into Honeycomb. And then I just go through and you choose the icon that you want it to replace. So for example, um, let's see, what's, what's, let's see. Oh, there it is. So as you can see right there, that's the one I actually chose for it. But I mean, I could do any, any other one I want. Uh, like let's say I could, I could do um, something that would make me think like maybe the star, I can be like, oh, I gotta, I gotta do uh, the star tasks or something, whatever. Hit OK. Boom. That is now, instead of that weird looking squid octopus thing, um, it's now a star, and which is a lot more aesthetically pleasing and it makes a lot more sense. But basically that's it. Not very hard. So just remember, go into the Android market, download a theme pack, and then um, typically long hold or um, maybe there's an option like menu. Um, and then ADW settings or like your launcher settings, something somewhere in there. Um, if you have a specific question about a launcher, go ahead and put them in the in the notes or in the comments below and I'll, I'll see if I can get to it. Um, if you have any questions about any of this, then just leave a comment. Um, or you can also go on practicallyandroid.com. On the right hand side, there's a link that says Android questions. Or you can just send an email to staff at practicallyandroid.com. Um, and that's it for today. I'm Marco Perez, and remember, for a more practical life, practicallyandroid.com. Take care, y'all.